Hi, I'm Selena and welcome to my channel. On today's episode, I wanted to show you how I made my DIY freestanding magazine and sample stand. I needed to create a display stand that would be able to show my samples and magazines. Using a few of the elements from each of these pictures, I decided that a leaning ledge with different varying widths for my samples and magazines would be the perfect thing. I had three pieces of scrap pine left over from the past project. I used the dowel joint method to attach all three of these boards together. This method allows for a really strong bond between the two pieces of wood joints. Using dowels as the fixer, this enables the two planks of wood to be joined together in their corresponding holes. I decided to do a mock-up on the floor to see what best sizes would work between the magazines and samples. Once I had figured out the best spacing between these ledges, I hand sawed these outside. I was really happy with how this method turned out, although I will be gluing it to make sure it is extra secure. I ended up working on this project in two parts. The first involved putting all the parts together using the dowel joint method and making sure all the ledges were cut to the appropriate size. The second stage involved filling in the holes from my recycled timber piece, gluing all the pieces together, sanding and then finally painting. I poured the wood glue onto the tray as it makes it easier for me to brush on the glue in between all the holes. Once I applied all the glue to the back of the ledge and onto the board, I used the clamps to make sure that they would then hold together. This next step could be missed if you're using a solid plank of plywood or timber, but as mine was recyclable boards, I had quite a few holes that I needed to fill. Using the scraper that they provide, you just pour in a bit of the putty and scrape it in. After a few seconds, make sure you scrape back over the hole to make sure you don't have too much excess bubbling over. Once the putty has dried, the next part is to sand this down. I used a 300 grit sandpaper and then went down to 200. I had some old ceiling paint left around so I decided to use that, but you can use any paint that you wish. I let the board dry overnight. You may wish to do a second coat, but as I didn't mind the texture and the finish on this, I left it as it was. So here's a little reminder of what I had before. And here is the finished result, my DIY freestanding magazine and sample stand. 